everyone this is ranger rob from the ranger rob country living channel and today i'd like to talk to you guys about being self-reliant and uh growing your own food now we've been sharing with you we've only been here about six months and we're having our house redone the siding we had the roof done and uh we're fortunate we were able to buy this five acre place but uh what I wanted to talk to you about is is it would be great if everybody started learning how to grow food now some people can grow a lot some can grow uh, things that they really enjoy maybe you love strawberries and you have some spots in your yard you could do strawberries um, for example and I'm going to show you things that aren't here yet. So all along this fence line here. Um, this property and the other side is our property too. But all along this fence line, we're going to put in a trough system and grow nothing but strawberries. I mean, a lot of strawberries. How can I grow so many strawberries? I'll never eat that many. But um, that's why we got a freeze dryer coming. So my point is on this video is you're seeing us in a visionary mindset right now of things that we want to do and, and try to do most affordably and on our own. Uh, you know, like the siding in a house is too much for us to do. Uh, I've never done siding. It's better to have a company do it. But these troughs and stuff, Sherry and I are going to build them and we're going to have tons of strawberries and uh, the first year we'll go through learning curves like what it's like to grow strawberries in this climate we're in central Oregon and uh, uh, hopefully we'll have success we'll do as much homework as possible and we'll thrive on strawberries was that gonna feed us in the winter all the time <laughs> no <laughs> I got other things I want to do um, and what I'm showing you is it's okay to dream and start working towards this stuff. And by the way, this stuff's hard. But at the long the long run is when you get something done and it starts flourishing. What a great feeling. Now here is the, a garden that doesn't even look like a garden. But I have a picture of what this garden's going to look like. It will be fenced it will have a watering system it's going to be uh um, i'm going to put more um, compost in it stuff like that because remember we're in high desert so we've got to amend this uh, soil and uh i'm going to just start with 25 by 25 and then another section over here and uh it's going to be my learning curve my first year now we have at the end of the house what we call the green room and we can get our starters going in there. But also you see us building with a vision, our first greenhouse. Never had a greenhouse. And uh, I'm looking forward to learning how to use it. And here's a project that we did this year. Total vision, we're gonna have chickens. We wanted to try this hoop design, built a really neat chicken house based on a people's ideas of what is a good idea you know good way to house your chickens and it's <coughs> sorry and it's done and so how cool is it when you build something yourself do the research these were baby chickens in the summer and I in, intended to have about 10 eggs a day coming uh, 8 to 10 is fine it's just me <coughs> me and Sherry and uh, now it's all done. The chickens are doing great. They're healthy. Uh, we're getting tons of eggs. Um, gosh, every time I go in here, I get another egg. Um, yeah, it's um, kind of cool. Then I heard a lot about composting. So I learned how to make a couple of compost things. The reason I'm pointing this out isn't to pat us on the back. It's to show you that you can do this too. And uh, you still have the opportunity to maybe 
look at a different piece. If you're living in the city right now, you can probably, in a lot of cases, get really good money for your house and actually buy a couple acres with the cutest little house ever and uh, have room to do. You just you only need like an acre or two. I've got five. I got tons of acreage left. And I'm not even using. I'm using like two and a half. And learn how to build things. I've never built a greenhouse. So far, it's looking pretty good. Uh, no one's guiding us. We just go to YouTube and get ideas and do it ourselves. And uh, so yeah, well, I mean, we weren't completely city slickers, but um, my point is, on our channel. We want to teach people how to be self-sufficient. We want to be able to say that we taught people how to grow food. Um, we've shown you also how to be uh, ready for emergencies by adding a generator system. Now we've added a pellet stove, which uh, if our power was to go off for a while, whatever, you know, we've shown you what we're doing financially. We set aside hundreds of dollars in cash um, and yet we keep plenty in the bank but uh, I don't want anyone to say I can't take my money out of the bank and we're buying assets like this house and property and putting in buildings um, and uh, I got two very excited dogs here um, and buying silver I don't buy gold because I'm not a rich person but uh Anyway, all we're showing you is how to be more self-reliant, self-sufficient, and teaching yourself how to grow some of your own food and to preserve it. Now, Sherry and I would be the first ones to tell you that we're not the biggest at uh, canning and stuff, but we have been doing it. But we are really looking forward to the freeze dryer because there is no reason why anything we grow here we can't preserve. Um, and it will be just as good as the day we grew it. So that's very exciting. Would you guys stop? And uh, if you're wondering what I'm looking at, i got two dogs here that are constantly playing, and which is good. <clears throat> so it won't be long. This thing will be done. Well, what's next? <clears throat> well, rabbit hutches. Why are we getting rabbits? Because of their magical poop. <laughs> that's the only reason. Um, plus, I'm getting American rabbits, and they're very popular, and there's few and far between here in the Northwest. So when we sell baby rabbits, um, we should be able to get, um, have no trouble selling them. We're not really into meat rabbits, but if we had to get into re meat rabbits, we would have be ready to do that if we had to. So uh, what else is we, you know, what other visions have we had? Well, we uh, may have to put more storage, another storage shed in here. But uh, we also think about putting some checker in here. Um, those are kind of for, more for personally. I like checker. They're a, little par they're a partridge bird. I used to raise them before. And uh, we may utilize the rest of this property by extending our... Uh, I don't know if I've really shown you our fence, but... We have a deer fence, and it keeps, obviously, a lot of deer here. Um, this fence covers about two, two and a half acres all around the property. It's about 10 feet high, you can see, um, and uh, it's very sturdy, but we could, if you go look way out there, you'll see another fence over there. That's our neighbor. He did a deer fence, too. That's all ours goes quite a ways over there and we could extend it along the property we could do anything like sheep or um, or goats or something like that if we really wanted to we don't really want to um, we're more interested in uh, the birds I wouldn't be even surprised if we did our turkeys again I used to raise turkeys why would I do all this because when it's good food I know what they've been fed and I can make sure that they're healthy and now that I have emergency backup for electricity and things like that I have the freezer space now um, and all this takes time yes all this takes money 
Um, but if you're, the more you learn how to do some of this yourself, the better. Two is learning how to repurpose buildings and wood and uh, take advantage of that. That'll save you some money. But the point, <laughs> the whole point of all this is why we do this and show you this stuff is we're showing you that we are not experts. I was not uh, brought up as a contractor or, or anything like that. I was a um, electronics guy in my day and uh, a software kind of person. I didn't do, I mean, I did some of this is like my dad taught me some stuff about raising turkeys and stuff, but really I was a city slicker. And uh, so uh, I'm just kind of showing you that anybody could do this. Why would you want to do this? Well, um, this isn't a, a, a channel of doom and gloom. This is a channel of being self-reliant and not depending on uh, every agency in the world. Um, what are some of your biggest, you know, main purposes in life? Family, shelter over your head, food. Those are really some of the most important things. Um, obviously, learning how to make extra income and things like that. I've shown you a little bit of what we do. Um, but, uh, gosh, you guys. Hey, go play. Go play. Um, anyway, so... What's important to you? Really think about it. Family. Traditions. Maybe uh, making sure you're loyal or keeping your patriot, being a patron uh, to a patron, patron to uh, or patriot to our United States and, and keeping it, uh, you know, all, a lot of us are older. We remember what things were like and kind of like to try to keep it that way. Um, you know, ask those questions. Ask yourself, what do you really want in life? What do you really need in life? Do you need a Porsche? Or do you want a beautiful garden? Do you want fresh corn? Or do you just want to buy it from the, down the road? But what if it's not there anymore? That's the question. And if it is always going to be there, that's a good thing. If it some reason's not there, you know how to do it yourself. So yeah, your priorities will probably change. And maybe a lot of us need to change our priorities. Because, I don't know, in the last 20 years, I can't say I'm impressed with the new ways of the way things are going. And now seeing the end results of it, maybe taking a few steps back is the way to go. It's just a idea. You know, take bits and pieces of this that works for you. And uh, learn how to grow stuff. Grow to things you like. Don't grow weird things. If you like strawberries, grow strawberries. If you like green beans, grow green beans. If you like peppers or tomatoes. I love tomatoes. <laughs> That's what the greenhouse is all about. Um, then that's what you should grow. And as you get and learn, because you're going to have disasters, you're going to have something go wrong, and you're going to learn how to deal with it. And uh, you're going to make mistakes. So don't start gigantic. I'm not. Um, I'm doing 25 by 25. That's bigger than I had before. And that's going to be a lot. And I've got a whole new climate to learn how to grow things in. Anyway, but... I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody, by being happy is, I hope that you have some kind of faith, but that's your choice. I, I hope everybody has a full belly. You have a roof over your head. And uh, that somehow you find a way to get income or finances enough to survive. I wish that for everyone. I don't care what shape and size or diversity you or from everybody deserves that and uh, with the Ranger Rob channel 
all we're trying to show you is we're normal human people trying to learn some new things and trying to um, do things we've never done before and not be afraid so get rid of that fear get rid of that doubt and the best thing I could tell you to do is just do it either do it where you're at now or move out and find a place to, that you can start doing some of this ask yourself what your limitations are are you young are you old is your health poor that'll tell you what kind of things you can and can't do um, and knowing your limitations is going to be important so identify that first and uh, also don't underestimate yourself you might be surprised don't be live in fear live in moving forward and trying to think ahead a little bit what you are hearing in the news or what's going on in politics whatever try to decipher it and figure out what you need to do next for your family or future family and uh, let me tell you if you raise kids in places like this you're gonna have some wonderful kids that can work hard and uh, they get it <laughs> if you don't have electricity that's even better I'll get rid of those video games anyway guys I hope this was a nice talk I hope it was helpful to you and inspiring uh, please leave your comments below we'd love to hear from you um, don't forget to buy some of our Ranger Rob poopy bags gonna help me pay for that greenhouse so guys have a wonderful day don't live in fear move forward and just do it so guys have a great day bye now our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks